Oh, for <laughs> sakes. Okay. I want to review this movie because I going out of the theater, I have some thoughts. <laughs> um, let me get into the nitty gritty. First of all, I do not think this movie was that bad. I mean, action wise, um, the freaking writing on the other hand, almost intolerable. Like I don't know what they were thinking. Okay. okay. Now here's the thing: the movie itself wasn't bad. I think the writing was off in a lot of places. The characters really don't work off each other. And honestly, Brie Larson is very kind of bland, even when she's trying to be emotional. I think Monica Rambeau, the actress who's playing her, is working the best she can off of what she can. And Kamala... Okay, Kamala... I watched the Disney Plus show. It was decent, but I really didn't care. <laughs> And it's the same thing with this. I don't have a problem with the character of Miss Marvel. She's fine. The problem is she just sometimes just comes off as annoying and intolerable. And I get she's a teenage girl, and I get that's what they're going for. But for me, I kind of find it annoying. I kind of find it dumb. It's like... It's like being in high school. You always have that one person, right? That one girl that gets on your nerves. And then there's the villain. Okay. I get that they they added a villain that's a female. And it goes in chief. I guess she's in the comics. And the whole thing is with the Kree. I don't have, I find the villain's motivations to be that bad. I think it works. I think that it plays on the whole thing after uh, Captain Marvel. You know, basically what it consequences i think that's fine i thought the villain's motivations were great the thing is how they concluded the thing was pretty dumb i don't mind bringing back the kree but bringing the kree back in this way just feels cheap and it just is dumb like even how they ended it which i'll get into that in the spoiler section is just like a very cheap way and with the characters, they honestly don't work off each other at all. Like, I, two work kind of well, I guess. Like, basically, I get Kamala's fangirl over Carol, but, like, she's never really been shown off in, except in the end game. Like, how does Kamala, of all people, know of Miss Marvel? I guess she kind of could have been, like, younger and then, like, the whole end game happens and that's how she's introduced. But they act like she's known about Miss Marvel for forever, and I think the only decent um, acting between uh, Miss Marvel and Monica Rambeau is the whole thing of like Carol trying to make amends for mistakes she's made, and also not coming back, and all that stuff, which I guess is fine. I don't really have a problem with some stuff. Like they kind of work off a little bit, not as well. Because I just find Brie Larson's acting to be a little flat. It's it's very flat. I'm sorry. Even when she's trying to be emotional or she's trying to... she Even when she first introduced to Kamala, she's very rude. I guess she does apologize, but it's just kind of like... It's kind of one of those fake apologies almost. That's what it feels like. And I really just... I thought it was just cheap. I thought it was dumb. And then... It, it just... The whole movie, I think there was some decent action scenes, like they're switching and stuff. And I think the concept, the concept was fine. I don't mind the whole thing with the quantum bands. It's a thing in the comics, um, even though they've changed some stuff around. I don't mind some of the changes. I just think there, it could have been done so much better. And it kind of plays as more of a comedy than like anything else. It's, it's the same problem that Thor Love and Thunder had. And just the fast, it moves too fast. And there's just a lot of stuff that felt unneeded. And just, like, cheap and dumb. Like, it just didn't need to be there. It just, did, it doesn't work. And it's not funny. And it's, like, the only thing that was relatively decent is with the cats. But then that just gets done dumb. Like, that's where the part where, it's just, it's so dumb. Like, this movie could have been good. It could have been decent. I don't think it was a bad concept but the problem is the execution and then the writing the writing was god awful i'm not even gonna sugarcoat it the action was fine some of the elements were fine 
I'm not saying the movie is bad. Like, you know, it could have been done better, but it's not a terrible watch. It's not like Batman and Robin where it's practically unwatchable, like without cringing or stuff like that. There are some funny moments and there's some genuine cool moments. Um, but honestly, it's just kind of, I wouldn't, it's just kind of dumb. Like, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I'm not even going to say, you know, like it's a, it can be a decent watch if like you're a kid and like you kind of go back and you can watch it. It could be like a decent pleasure. But for like now in release, I'm not going to sit there and pull a fake outrage channel where I'm going to say, oh, the movie's, it's woke, it's blah, 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 blah. Like those guys are, and women are just terrible to watch. They're annoying. I'm not one of those people. As a fan of Marvel, I'm, I'm I kind of stand in the same stance as um, Stephen King, where I want the series to f- succeed. I don't want it to fail. But the thing is, it's not the way it used to be. It's not just special effects. It's about like story and character, pacing and writing. The pacing was too fast. The the writing was god awful. The action and some of the special effects were decent and fine. I thought some elements were stupid and dumb obviously the whole thing with goose and the cat and nick fury is not as serious as he usually is i noticed that lately sometimes even in secret evasion with 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 god awful i'm not even gonna get into that i honestly just think the mcu it was going strong and now it's just kind of oversaturation what they need to do is take a break and actually focus on writing good movies and not rushing things and not like just working the machine so much. Like this is what screwed up Iron Man 2 and it's also is what's screwing things up now. Honestly, a lot of people complained that Thor the Dark World was terrible. Honestly, going back and rewatching it, it's a lot better than what we have been getting now. Honestly, it's just amazing how people want to complain and say the MCU is going downhill. Well, these are the same people that wanted, you know, more of the same with Thor Ragnarok. And then you got Thor Love and Thunder, and it basically ruined things. And honestly, if, if honestly, I'm just disappointed with how things are being handled and what they're doing. Like, I don't mind some of the characters. I like Monica Rambeau. I like Miss Marvel. I don't like the way they changed her power set, but in this movie, it kind of works. Somewhat, I think it's still dumb, but the way it connects to her and, you know, the idea with the quantum bands, it's actually a cool concept. Now, do I think the execution it was good? Fuck no. <laughs> but... I think if they could have spent more time in the, in the oven and this movie could, I could tell was in production hell for who knows. Cause it just feels like they're going all over the place. It feels like a Disney plus show almost. And, and that's kind of, and there's been some good Disney plus Marvel shows. What if, and a few others, um, moon Knight was a pretty good one. I know a lot of people have their problems with the Disney plus shows, but there's been a few good ones. Loki was another example. I just think for me, this movie was kind of like, it's not as bad as people are saying it. Yes, it is bad. Like writing rise, but let's get into spoilers. (laughs) Honestly, with how the characters work off each other in the movie. And also like these are from the theater. So I cannot use any what's called, Like, with the Kree coming back and some of the New World, some stuff was just dumb. And the main villain was just, like, she kind of fell out flat near the end. Like, because they give her a chance, like, we're going to use, like, to fix stuff. And instead, she threatens to kill uh, freaking, what's her, uh, freaking Miss Marvel. And then she gets the quantum bands and then she dies. It's, and then this post credit scene sets up the Young Avengers with Kamala pulling a Nick Fury, which, oh my god. I don't mind the Young Avengers. I don't mind some of this stuff, but I just think, <sighs> don't. And then we get into the nitty gritty, the X-Men. Okay. Please, dear god Marvel, do not fuck this up. I am sorry. Um... <sighs> With the Beast showing up, the name drop of Charles, maybe connecting to Deadpool 3, 
and you had uh, binary, which this is, here's the thing. Monocam Robo was in space. How did she get here? And then the whole thing with like, you know, Beast and stuff was pretty cool. Seeing the actor come back. Um, X-Men and bringing that stuff back with the Fox universe. And yes, it's probably in a parallel universe, whatever. But with the how that Logan was supposed to be the finale, I honestly just... Okay. I honestly don't want them to fuck up the X-Men the way Fox did. Like, if you're going to bring in the X-Men into the MCU, do not screw it up. Because this is a franchise that I myself adore, and I don't want it screwed up. Like, they're already the whole thing with Kang and stuff. We have all that stuff with Jonathan Majors. Sure, if like go and with the whole thing with him and legal trouble, but this movie, you know, it's a cheap way of showing the X Men and bringing that into question. And you had Binary, which was pretty cool. Seeing Monica uh, R- uh, Ramon's, mo- uh, I'm butchering the name, but her mom as a instead of um, Captain Marvel, she becomes like Binary, which is similar in the comics with Carol Danvers, and she's joining the X Men. Cool. Here's one problem. Um, this is in another universe. <laughs> and it's like, it's a cheap way of them getting away with like, oh yeah, the X-Men all died and then they came back and then they died again and then they come back and then they died again. It's like, <sighs> it's kind of dumb because I like to see the classic X-Men come back. I would like them to have a good farewell. But if you're going to keep bringing the Mac back for fan service, because that's what this feels like, then why bring them back at all? Because here's the thing. I love the X-Men, but this feels like fan service. I get that, you know, uh, Patrick Stewart's getting old. Like, his his thing is he's in a wheelchair, the half the stuff, like, whatever. And, you know, you have Deadpool 3 coming out, and you have all that stuff. But I just, like... What's the point of bringing back the X-Men if you're going to butcher it and you're going to screw it up because the way Disney's track record is lately, I don't want to be that person like the fake outrage channels, like the Corrine, like Yellow Flash, like all those idiots. Like I want to sit there and say, everything's woke, everything's terrible, everything's blah, everything blah, blah, blah. I'm not one of those people. I think that shit's just annoying. It's just like nobody cares. Like if that's your opinion, fine. But here's the thing, it's, you're oversaturating and you're using that shit like candy, I don't want to go into this rant, but I don't want to be like one of those people. The thing is, this movie, this movie was a bit of a mid. It could be funny occasionally and good on action, and special effects were a lot decent than some of the stuff we got in Disney+, Plus. but the writing wasn't good. <laughs> That is what dragged down the movie. The concept, and now this is something that nobody's willing to admit, the concept of this movie, where like some, like a whole thing, and the villain's motivations work. Those two things, the concept of like with the Marvels, they're switching places because their powers are entangled, that type of stuff, that's a cool concept. That works. I don't like the whole change to Miss Marvel's powers, but when you think about it, it was a brilliant way to set up this movie because now they have similar powers and then um this movie happens and you have them connected but the execution was awful i think the problem is that they're trying to do so much and cram things in so fast it's like a nascar race room 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 so fast and you don't even get a chance to stop and there's a lot of stuff that was just not as good or just not good at all you know let me know in the comments down below if you think any different if you watch the movie sure um i just think that it just needed a lot more time in the oven it's not a bad movie it could be a decent watch maybe later down the line it's still not going to be great but it's like batman forever it's going to be like a guilty pleasure for some people um but yeah it was a mid movie. It wasn't great, but it wasn't as terrible as people were saying. It had some good moments, but it was overshadowed by a lot of bad ones. So, yeah.